I'm Michelle J. Lynn. I'm a registered dietitian. I started to learn more about agriculture and I started to ask more questions about how food was produced because I wanted to be able to serve patients better. What I found was really interesting to me is there's so much that goes into agriculture. There's so much that goes into everything from the research, the development, before it even like hits the grocery store. So when people ask me about GMOs, I feel like GMOs are not really something that they have to worry about. And that's because GMOs are, you know, they're very well regulated by the government. Telling somebody to avoid GMOs in order to be healthy to me is, is not good advice. So it's interesting because the G a GMO food and non-GMO food, if you compare the same thing, there is no difference in terms of nutrition. They have the same nutritional qualities. I know that Health Canada and the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, which regulate GMOs, are two very highly respected regulatory bodies around the world. And I know they're looking out for the health of Canadians to make sure that the food is safe for us to eat. So I'm really excited about the future of genetic engineering because there's so many different things that scientists are working on. So one of them, for example, is reducing allergens in peanuts and reducing gluten in wheat. Another one is we can increase the shelf life of apples and avocados so that they don't go brown. The way that biotechnology has come, we actually know more than we've ever known before. And when you know better, you do better. 